Hello and welcome to the Skyville channel. Today, this is all you need to know about Haswell E. So the new x99 platform just got released from Intel and a lot of you guys are wondering what makes this new platform much better than the old x79 platform and kind of what are the new specs and features of the new x99 platform. Well, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys today why this is one of the best new platforms released by Intel in a long time and why this is such a good platform in general. So let me go ahead and introduce you guys to the new processors that are in this platform. So first off, we have the new i7-5820K, the i7-5850930K, and the really popular i5-5960X. So first off, we're going to start off with the lowest end i7. So we have the 5820K, which is a hexa-core processor that is running off of the new x99 platform. It has 50 megabytes of L3 cache, it runs at a speed of 3.3 gigahertz and it can support up to 28 PCI lanes. So pretty much for its price point of around $390, this is a pretty good price. This is a pretty well priced CPU that pretty much gives you the best bang for the buck CPU pretty much in this category. Overall, it's pretty good. And really the only difference from this and the 4930K, the 5930K, is that the PCI lane support is a bit different. But from what I've heard, that doesn't really matter in gaming. So if you were to have a triple SLI or quad SLI setup, the performance difference between the 5820K and the 5930K will not be so dramatic. Anyways, to go with the 5930K, it's a hexa-core processor that has 15 megabytes of L3 cache. It's clocked at 3.5 gigahertz, and also it can support up to 40 PCI lanes. So again, this is just like the 5820K. However, it supports more PCI lanes for a bit of a better triple or quad SLI setup, but from what I've heard, it's not that much of a difference. Now finally, we have the i7-5960X. This is pretty much the brawniest of the i7 processors that are supported with this x99 platform. It is a octa-core processor with 20 megabytes of L3 cache and can support up to 40 PCI lanes and is clocked at 3 gigahertz. So this is pretty much the beastliest of the other i7 processors and this is pretty much targeted for people who want the most out of their editing or rendering PC. And not to mention all of, the pro all of these processors are overclockable to get more performance out of them. So anyways, those are the processors for the new X99 platform. So you guys are probably wondering what is the huge deal about this new DDR4 RAM? Dedicated RAM. Well, pretty much I'm going to go ahead and tell you the difference between this and DDR3 RAM and kind of tell you what is the main deal about DDR4 which makes it so special. So pretty much the main difference is the voltage and clock speed. So DDR4 RAM can operate at an extremely low voltage regulation. Pretty much I have seen RAM sets that are DDR4 that are at 1.2 volts, which is pretty low than the standard 1.6 that's on DDR3, but can run at 2400 megahertz, which is a very good voltage to speed ratio. So pretty much that's the one difference is that the voltage requirement is much lower for DDR4 and also the clock speed is a lot higher. However, DDR4 RAM sticks are a bit longer than DDR3. DDR3 RAM sticks are usually t um, 240 pins long. However, DDR4 RAM now is 288 pins long. So pretty much those are the main differences between DDR3 and DDR4 RAM. So if you guys are wondering about any other differences between the X79 and X99 platform, pretty much the only differences are, are that the X99 platforms will now support a Thunderbolt connection, which Pretty much a Thunderbolt 2 connection can transfer up to 20 gigabits per second, which is insanely fast, which is a pretty nice addition to the X99 platform. Also, the X99 platform will now support a higher TDP of instead of the original 130 watts on the X79 platform, the X99 platform will now support a TDP of 140 watts to support those new processors. And also, there are a lot more SATA ports on the X99 platform. And lastly, the X99 platform, of course, will utilize DDR4 RAM instead of the original DDR3 that's on the X90, X79 platform. So we boil down to the final question, is X79 for you? So pretty much if you're a crazy content media creator who wants extremely fast rendering times and really fast editing, and you especially want that 8-core desktop processor, then the X99 platform is for you. However, on the gaming side, if you have a quad or triple SLI setup and you want all the cards to be running at full speed, then the X99 platform will do great for you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, favorite, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And this is the Skyville Channel signing out.